Today we're going to be taking another look at the Piano Pass application and you're actually going to have a chance to change and add some brand new features to this already excellent application. What's up, it's Eric from AppFind here. Now if you guys are big AppFind fans, you probably remember when I showed off the amazing Piano Pass application about two to three years ago. When I first showed it off, everybody loved it as a great way to secretly store your passcodes disguised as a simplistic piano app. Now, the developers have been frequently updating the application, adding brand new features, and also adding in support for iOS 8. But they want to do even more. And they actually reached out to me to allow you guys, the audience, to decide which new features will be added to Piano Pass and help let them know what your favorite features that you want to be updated or new improvements you want to be made so that they can really add customer service and great new usable features for you guys. In addition, they provided 10 promo codes to be given out because the app is $1.99 and it's definitely worth it, but some of you guys could win just by giving them some feedback on their application. But first, let's take a quick refresher on what Piano Pass currently does. Then I'll show you guys what the new update could look like depending on what you guys decide. Let's get started. Now, as I said before, Piano Pass is an amazing application that secretly stores all of your passcodes, photos, notes, and contacts within a secret piano interface. Now, in addition to the secret piano interface, the icon is very deceiving. It just looks like your run-of-the-mill piano app. And inside, it plays like the run-of-the-mill piano app with just a couple of small features. But once you download this app in the beginning, you're prompted to set up your own secret piano passcode. Watch this. So obviously my passcode was pretty simple, but you guys can come up with as much complex uh, or simplistic passcodes as you want within the eight second time frame. So as you can see here, you're instantly greeted with the quick note feature. Now the quick note feature is one of the things that they added um, very recently to Piano Pass and this is going to allow you to add some really quick notes right off the bat that you'll see right when you open the application. As you can see I just wrote a quick note to myself, uh, you know, a secret note stored uh, quickly in Piano Pass. All you have to do is hit the quick note, type whatever you want in here and then it'll show up on the quick notes tab. In addition obviously the thing that they're known the most for is their password section where you can store all your different passwords. You can even sort by favorites, date, name, etc. And when you click in there, you're gonna be able to see the whole profile. Social networking, you know, John Appleseed, and my password. And it's all listed right there. It also includes the URL, so you can click that. It also has when your password was last changed. Just a little bit of extra information. Now, in addition to the passwords, which they're known for, they also have a camera roll functionality where you can add pictures that you want to be kept safe. As you can see, I added just a quick screenshot of the Piano Pass application, but you can store as many pictures as you'd like in here. Also, there's the ability to store regular notes, very similar to the Quick Notes, except um, the Quick Notes are designed for like a really quick thing that'll get deleted later on. These will stay here for a little while. And finally, contacts. So as you can see, you can provide a secret contact with your phone number, etc., so you can call them. It's that easy, that simple, and Piano Pass is an amazing application. They also have a password recovery option. If you hold down a key on the piano for 10 seconds, you'll be prompted with a recovery question, so you don't have to worry about um, ever losing or forgetting your musical passcode. Overall, it is a great application um, and it does give you the option to change your backup question at any time or reset. But it is an amazing application that I recommend you guys get. But there's the opportunity to get 10 copies for free if you provide some feedback about what the new features of Piano Pass should be. So now we're going to transition over and take a look at some of the proposed new features 
So be sure to watch that part, let us know in the comment section below, and you can see those features you chose available in Piano Pass, and you can even get a copy for free. All right, let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at our three options for new features that can be added to Piano Pass. The first option is encrypted file sharing. This is going to allow you to encrypt private files and photos within Piano Pass to send to other Piano Pass users who can then decrypt and view those files. So that means it's going to allow you to secretly share these files and photos with friends without having to go through Gmail uh, or other online messaging platforms that could potentially be compromised or read. This is just a great way to secretly share information and photos. The second option is a virtual wallet. This is going to allow you to securely store your credit card information right on Piano Pass with all the fields required to store your credit card. Now this section also requires an additional four digit passcode to add for increased security and as always it's blocked by their amazing encryption technology that Piano Pass has. Also, it allows for convenient shopping on the go and online, so you can just quickly access all your credit card information on the go. This is another great option, but remember, they're very secure and safe with high military grade encryption. All right, option three is a bucket list. This is gonna allow you to store a bucket list of activities that you wanna complete, and the list is sortable and allows for easy completion of activities. And it also allows you to create multiple lists, which you can use in a variety of ways. So maybe not just a bucket list, but other lists as well. All right, so how are you going to help us decide? It's very easy. Besides being subscribed to AppFind, all you got to do is post a comment below with your favorite option of those three options. And that most voted option will be added in about four weeks. In addition, there's a chance to win one of 10 promo codes for Piano Pass, which is a $1.99 application. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and definitely let us know what your favorite option is. This is a unique opportunity for us over here at AppFind and the AppFind community because we're actually gonna allow ourselves to change and shape an already amazing application and make it even better. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.